Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. So today what I'm going to do is a show for the magic of makeup and cannabis. <clears throat> and cannabis and makeup go hand in hand for me because when I'm highly elevated, I like to create on my face. <laughs> create magic on my face. <laughs> it's art to me. So today what I want to talk about is um, people not wanting to try different colors and experiment because they think they're too old. Am I too old to wear this color? Am I too old to... You know, it just like, seems like a recurring theme with a lot of people. They get a certain age and then they just don't want to uh, be too, you know, brash or bold. I'm not like that. <laughs> I just like to have fun. And you know what? I forgot to get a drink. Before we have fun, I need to have something to drink. I'll be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. I've got my drink. I've got my tea, my lemon ginseng and honey tea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and today I'm gonna spoke on um, some educus that was given to me by another patient who grows. Um, so yeah, I rolled it up in some joints. I actually did a show um, or a video that I'm going to turn into a show where, because someone asked me if I would roll joints, do a video where I'm rolling joints so they can see how much herb I use in a joint. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this is a huge one, I know. <laughs> but yeah, um, cheers everyone. <laughs> Cheers to like taking time out and just having fun with yourself, you know what I mean? And that's what makeup is to me. It's magical. You create um, a whole nother mood, a whole nother feeling when you put these colors or if you even put designs on your face. And I think that people, when they get a certain age, they think that they can't be creative and express themselves the way that they did when they were uh, younger. And that's kind of ridiculous to me, I think. So, cheers. Express yourself. Oh, that's good. It's always nice when other patients share what they've grown. All right, let me put you down. <laughs> <coughs> Very tasty. <coughs> so yeah, I'm going to have fun today with the colors. I'm just going to go wild. Wilder than I've ever gone before on this on this show. <laughs> and I just want to do that just to show people that it doesn't matter how old you are, you can have fun with your makeup. I am going to uh, use the black lipstick that I just got. It's from this company called Pop Feel. Um... Like I said, I do want to eventually experiment with making my my own cosmetics more. I haven't making the t haven't made the time uh, lately to do that. The closest I've done is lip balm that's involving beeswax and coconut oil, and yeah, I've done that. But I have I've experimented with makeup by using, say, um, old eyeshadow and. Um, mixing it with different lip colors and to create different colors. I thought about doing that because I have two different um, I have two different of these eyeshadow um, would you would you call it a compact or whatever uh, I have two of these <laughs> and one of them I thought I could experiment with making different lip colors so what I'm gonna do is try to attempt to make like a purple or a black lipstick by doing this. Uh, first what I do is I put on the lipstick first which is the black lipstick here and then uh, just put it on. Uh, when I first started getting into lipsticks with color in them I would find that like I've talked about the lighter colors didn't look right on my lips so if I got a lighter color, I try to get a darker color and then I mix it together to create uh, a color that looks right for me. So here's the black. 
And you know, lipstick should, I mean, makeup should be fun. It shouldn't be so serious all the time. Um, I'm not a makeup artist, like I've said before. I'm someone who likes to create, you know. So I've got the black lipstick on. See how that looks? <laughs> and I'm going to put some uh, purple eyeshadow on top of it. So I'm going to use this color purple. This color purple and see what happens. It's not like I haven't done this before. I have done this before. I just haven't done it in a long time because I haven't had uh, this many colors to work with. So. And this is another way of making like a matte lipstick by putting eyeshadow on top of it. Oh, I like that color. So look there, it's a purple. No, it's purple lipstick. I like purple, uh, dark purple which is what I've got. I can make it even darker and come in with the lipstick, more black lipstick to make it darker. But there you go. I got purple lips. <laughs> so um, next what I'm going to do is work with eyeshadow. I should keep the mirror with me. <laughs> and um, I'm going to keep it with the purple theme, but with my eyes I'm going to do uh, purple and uh, purple and green green is calling me today so I'm gonna use the same purple that I used on my lips that I'm gonna use that on my eyelids too you know what I want to do first though is I want to do my eye my eyeliner on my on lid top lid and on bottom lid first because that'll really set the um, the design for how I want to do the eyeshadow on my eyelids <laughs> so here we go I'm using this eyeshadow or eye liner, I mean, liquid eyeliner by this company called Ico London Skinny. So this is what this is. I recently watched this video uh, that Star Delta 9 did. She has her own um, herb tube page and she's promoting this, um, <clears throat> this company. I think it's called High Gorgeous. I haven't tried it, but it's all natural and it's conf infused with, I believe, cannabis infused. So it sounds really interesting. It's cool what people are doing. And it's a, I think it's a woman-owned company, she said. Will be worth checking out because I did say I wanted to try products that have uh, cannabis in them, uh, topicals they make is what she was talking about. They make topicals, creams, lotions. They make a lip balm as well. So, very cool that people are out there making all natural products, uh, skin products, especially if they're infused with THC. That's wonderful. So I got the one eye there. <laughs> Let me do the other eye. Like I said, sometimes I like to do the Egyptian eye, and sometimes I don't. But it is my favorite style of makeup, is the Egyptian style. But some days I don't do that. So. But yeah, that company sounds really cool. It's called High Gorgeous. And it sounds really. I'm going to look into it and do some research on it and maybe bring it to you guys. Well, not necessarily the product. I don't know if I can afford it. <laughs> but bring to you information about it so yeah it's cool to see people in the cannabis community so creative with what they're talented at they bring forth their talents to help so that's doing a weird teardrop thing on the side um, I guess I'll go with it I'm trying to even up both sides Sometimes when I get in the corners of my eyes, it's hard to get it just right, so, but it doesn't have to be perfect. There. There we go. <laughs> I like this purple. Oh my god, it's awesome. So now I've got the eyes set. Time to come in with some more purple. I'm going to do purple, like I said, purple and green. I think I do want to use the seafoam green. That's calling out to me. Have you ever, like, when you're putting your makeup on, do you, like, these colors just call out to you? Those are the colors I think that I need to to work with today if they're calling out to me. So I'm going to use this purple again, the same color purple I used on my lips. I'm going to use on the bottom eyelid, so. Got 
close to the, where the eyeliner is. I love these poppy colors. I like how bright they are. It's beautiful. I love this. It would be cool to experiment with making pigments. I'm spit all over myself. To make pigments like this myself, but with natural uh, plant materials. So, if anybody does that, let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> Um, like I said, I've been wanting to experiment. I just haven't spent the time doing it because I've been busy working on, like, for instance, that blackberry pie recipe that I did on this channel you can check out. Recently posted that blackberry cannabis infused mini pie. So I was busy, I've been busy doing all these other things. So I haven't really taken the time to really experiment with makeup and doing natural materials to make makeup. So I like that. That looks good. Purple, purple. So now I'm going to come in with some seafoam green. <clears throat> Something's telling me to do that. We'll see if that's, that something is right. So I'm just going to put it right on top of the purple. Like I said, I'm just going to put the seafoam green right on top of the purple where I put the purple on my eye. So it'll be interesting. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. That's nice. I feel like I want the purple to come up higher though than the green, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> so yeah, no matter what age you are, you can always have fun. You can always express yourself. You can always not give a shit what other people have to say about how you express yourself. You're not harming anybody. You're not harming yourself. You're just having fun expressing yourself and a lot of times these colors are healing they give you a healing feeling when you look at your face in the mirror and you see these colors it just reminds you of how you want to feel <laughs> so there's the green there I want to put something should I put something on the top something's telling me to do gold on the top I know over the top <laughs> let's go there I'm going there so I'm going to use this gold. Looks like a lim lemon yellow, though. So put it up where my eyebrows are. There. I'm liking that. That looks cool. Let's blend it in as much as I can. There. A little bit of yellow on top. And there was a time where, uh, let's move this hair out of the way so I don't get eyeshadow all over my dreadlock. There was a time when I, <clears throat> I thought about becoming a makeup artist and a beautician, and there was this one school called John Federico's. I went to the building, went to the place, and I was uh, interested in taking classes. And then when I found out that I'd had to work with like, you know, chemicals like uh, to bleach people's hair, to dye it, and to um, use methods that I really didn't feel comfortable with like learning how to do a relaxer and all that kind of stuff. I was trying to get away from that. <laughs> so I decided I didn't want to do that go that route. So I like the way that looks so far. <laughs> My little scraggly dreads on the side. <laughs> so yeah, that looks good so far. Now I'm gonna do the eyeliner on my eyes. And this is where it gets really dramatic. <laughs> yeah. So people will judge you, but you know what? You just have to be happy with yourself and not worry about those people that judge you. The people that judge you, they have problems with themselves. They don't love themselves. So when they don't love themselves, they don't love anyone else. So, And the negative negativity that they throw towards you is the negativity that they throw at themselves every day that they look in the mirror they're always judging themselves so they're going to always be judging you so that's how that works huh so yeah i like that that's nice i'm going to come in down underneath here to level it out a bit more so yeah with these pens i mean you can create art on your face it's so easy it's like drawing on your face with a pencil or a pen mm -hmm. or a felt tip marker so, I got this side is like square right there. So, yeah. 
it. So much fun makeup is for me. It is. It always has been. It's always about being pure expression and about healing. So yeah. Okay, that side's thicker than this side, so I'll make this side a little bit thicker. And maybe bring this line out more like that. See, it's so relaxing and peaceful, especially if you're in in a quiet room <laughs> or outside when it's quiet. I did say I was going to try and do one of these videos outside soon. So, pretty soon. So yeah, <laughs> that is my makeup for today. Um, you're never too old or too young to have fun and experiment with colors. Colors are fun. Colors are healing. So I hope you enjoyed today's magic of makeup. I know I did. I had a great time just having fun and relaxing and expressing myself. And age has nothing to do with expression. Expression is eternal. As long as you feel creative, you can express yourself. And canvas most likely and most definitely is in the picture when I'm creating on my face. <laughs> If I'm not going to light my, but you know what, I'm not going to light my joint with the lipstick. <laughs> yep, I'm highly elevated right now. <laughs> Let me take my hair down here. Here we go. There we go. That, that concludes the look with the hair down. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Cheers to creativity and expressing yourself no matter what age you are. Cheers. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show because I truly enjoyed creating it for you. And if you have any uh, suggestions about a future show for Magic of Makeup and Cannabis, please let me know. Um, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Like I said, leave your comments down below and let me know what you'd be interested in seeing on Magic of Makeup and Cannabis. Alrighty guys, have a great day. Peace.